telegraphing all my moves, huh? Right. Museum's closed. All right, ladies and gents, we are back, of course, and more of Uncharted 3. So excited to be showing this to all of you out there. So let's begin. There's just a few collectibles in here. We're pretty much in the same area we were before. And I just absolutely love the way this game looks. So that's pretty much where we're actually going. Right there. There's a collectible there too. She had to get there, so let's see. There it is. If only he was his big self, he would have been able to make that. Oh, that was close. <laughs> As you can see, there's the way that you need to go in, but instead of going that way, we're actually going to go this way. So that we can pick this up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And there's two in this room. You can see the one right there. Remember, this is the room that we were in before. And remember, all we had to do, actually, was grab, was do this side, and we most likely would have, excuse me, this side, and we would have been able to get that, um, that trophy. So I do apologize for that. But we're going to grab this, and that is going to be all of the collectibles in this chapter. So, not too much going on here. All right. Whoa. Damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. He has the ring. He must be the chosen one. Ugh. Break the door down. Ugh. Oh god. He's heading for the roof. Catch him. Chain break it. Hurry. Let go. Ugh. Shit. Crap! Who the hell are these guys? Come 
you, you little bastard! They're shooting at me? Sorry about that. Okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. If you don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This should be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis... Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? 
You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, so, like a boarding school? That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, uh, well... Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah. Clearly. What do you say we, uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? <laughs> okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things.